We've been driving for 10 minutes. You haven't said a word. What happened? Nothing. Let me guess. You finally realized that you're losing your hair. What? No, it's just thinning. Ah, as my father used to say, thinning is just the beginning. <laughs> Stop. It's not my hair, Daddy. I'm just a little upset because I got a text from David. David from school? You haven't mentioned him in a long time. Almost two years and counting. Remember that animation job I applied to when I moved to New York? The one you didn't get? That was years ago. Who cares about that now? Soon after I got the rejection letter, I found out that David got the position. So, I guess he was a better candidate. He didn't know about the position until I told him about it. What do you mean? I had asked him to be one of my references. What? And somehow his reference letter ended up getting lost in the mail, and he applied for the job himself. <gasps> Unbelievable. What the schmendrick? I told him I couldn't believe what he did, that he totally screwed me over, and I hung up the phone. And that was two years ago. What the schmendrick? Every time I think about it, every time I hear his name, I get angry. And now he texts me after two years wanting to get together to apologize. So, what do you think I should do? Forgive him. What? Did you hear anything I just told you? Every single word. I heard exactly what you said. But you said yourself he's a schmendrick. He is. And you asked for advice on what you should do. And I gave it to you. Forgive him. Well, the last thing I'm going to do is to forgive him. That's your choice. But remember that someday when you're asking for forgiveness, whether you want to be judged the way you're judging him. What he did is unforgivable. There are very few things that are unforgivable, Hanan. And that's not one of them. I could kill David for what he did. That's one thing that's unforgivable. What? If you kill someone, even a Schmendrick, maybe you might even want forgiveness for killing the Schmendrick. But you can't get it anymore because the only person that can forgive you is dead because you killed him. What? I'm not literally going to kill the guy, Daddy. It's just a figure of speech. What I'm trying to say is that I absolutely cannot forgive him. You mean you won't forgive him? Daddy, don't twist this around and make it about me. Who else is it about? Well, him, obviously. What he did. Why are you defending what he did? I would never defend what David did. It was terrible. But I'm not talking about what he did. I'm talking about what you can do. I'm not going to let him walk all over me. Forgiving him doesn't mean you're approving of what he did. It just means that you forgive him. Why would I ever want to forgive him? He's probably just apologizing to get rid of his guilt. Does it really matter why he's apologizing? If I let him get away with this, he'll be laughing behind my back. I'll lose all self-respect. How is your self-respect connected to what he did or does? If people heard I forgave David, they'll think I'm the Schmendrick. When are we going to talk about you? I thought that's what we've been doing. First you're worried about him laughing at you. Then you're worried about what other people think of you. That's not you. That's your ego. Whatever. Even if I were to forgive him hypothetically, I would still be angry with him. Well, you know, that's not really forgiving him then. What do you mean? If I forgive him, I forgive him. That's maybe how it works when you give a homeless guy on the street a dollar. Even if you don't really want to give him the dollar, you still gave him the dollar and helped out a homeless guy. But that's not how forgiveness works. You have to really mean it. And if you're still angry, then you can't mean it. I just hope he's paying you the rent. Paying me? He stole from me. He's not paying me anything. What rent? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that he's living inside your head. He's obviously taking up a lot of rooms there. I mean, when did this happen? Two years ago? And you're still talking about him? So, how much is he paying you? Living in my head, rent free. I never thought about it that way. It's just, I can't let it go. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. What do you mean? Now we're finally talking about you. I'm just still so angry. Listen, Hanan, when someone does something that hurts us, it's natural to get angry. It's a reflex, an instinct. We can't help that. Back when I found out what he did, I wanted to punch him in the face. Ah, but you see, you didn't. You didn't punch him in the face? Well, obviously, there are consequences. I could go to jail. I'm not an animal. I don't just let any urge that comes up control me. Exactly. Human beings are not animals because we have a choice. We always have a choice, Hanan. After controlling yourself by not punching him, you've unfortunately remained angry and created a jail in your head where a schmendrick is living rent-free. At this point, it seems like maybe punching him and going to jail would have been simpler. But I can't help my anger. It's like you said before, it's a reflex. You need to listen more carefully, Hanan. When you first found out that David got the job, you felt angry. That was a reflex. Most people can't control that. I got angry when I heard about it too. But how long you hung on to the anger 
that's your choice. You mean resentment. If you want to use fancy schmancy words to impress the women, yes, resentment. But anger is still a part of resentment, and I can't control a feeling. But you're the ones that's recreating the anger by constantly opening up the wound again and again. If you have the power to control your reaction by not punching him, then you also can control your actions here. So you're saying stop replaying what happened two years ago in my head. I'm saying more than that. I'm saying that actions lead to feelings. Stopping an action is not the same as taking an action. To free yourself from the resentment, you need to take action. What action could I possibly take to free myself from my resentment? Forgive. But then he wins. Does he really win? What does he win? He gets away with it. He got to take advantage of me and he knows it. It makes me so angry. I want revenge. I want him to suffer. How will his suffering help you? Justice has been served. But how does that help you? Does that improve your life? I'm not sure, but it feels good. But wouldn't it have also felt good in the moment to punch him in the face? Yes, but I would have been responsible for that. And being happy at his suffering doesn't make me responsible for it. Maybe not. But it pulls you into a very dark place. By becoming someone who is filled with revenge, it becomes a kind of jail itself that's very hard to get out of. Hanan, you're young and you feel like life will never end. But I'm older. And eventually you will realize that we have a finite amount of time. And in the end, all we really have is what we make of our life. The choices we make and the actions that we take. How we treat other people and how we treat ourselves. At the end, it's up to each of us as individuals. I don't know if I want to forgive him. You don't have to forgive Hanan. But it's good to forgive. Forgiving, and this is very important, so try to remember it. Forgiving is letting go of resentment. It's accepting all of the parts of you and another person. The good and the bad. Not condoning them, but accepting them. You can choose that the person you want to be in this world is one who resents or one who forgives. Realize that you are free to choose. It's your choice. But my advice to you is find a way to choose forgiveness. But what about David? Isn't he responsible for his actions and choices? If David chose to act like a schmendrick, that was his choice. You don't have to approve, you don't have to like it, but it was still his choice and you have no control over him. At the end, what you have is a freedom to choose how you behave. And now he wants your forgiveness. It's really hard to be forgiving. It's the most difficult thing to do. That's why the reward is so great. But think, Hanan, haven't you ever done bad things that you've wanted forgiveness for? Haven't we all? Of course, it's part of being human. We all make mistakes, but we always want other people to forgive us, while the key is learning to forgive others. When you think about how to respond to David, try and think about how you hope to be treated when you are apologizing for your mistakes. What are you doing? Texting David back. What did you write? Let's meet at six for coffee at Elmo's. I signed it, your former landlord. <laughs> <laughs> See? Things aren't so bad. Now, with a little bit of rogue, you can gain a couple of months before you're completely void.